Hey guys, Mario Fan here, and I am totally late to the party once again. But this is Pac-Man 99, the third Battle Royale game released by Arika, and it came out a month and a half ago. But better late than never, they say, huh? I've already covered Super Mario Bros. 35 and Tetris 99, so I figured... Why not continue it with this one? This game is more reminiscent of the Pac-Man Championship Editions than regular Pac-Man. Unlike Super Mario Bros. 35 or Tetris 99, you can hardly just jump in and expect to see any kind of results at all. But I have played this a bit already, so... I do know a bit of what I'm doing. Like any Battle Royale, the game is... The objective is to survive longer than your opponents. You can collect ghost trains to send large trains of ghosts, or to create them, and then eat those to deal lots of damage. Clearing the entire board gives you a speed boost, so that's definitely something you'll want to invest in. Because it'll help you survive the main way, the main method of attacking your opponents, which are white jammer Pac Man that will slow you down if you touch them. It seems complicated, but you definitely start to understand the mechanics the more you play. Eventually you start seeing these red jammer Pac-Man who kill you upon contact. And that might not be exactly what you want. Sometimes they'll block your path and they are totally invincible. The only way to get them to go away is to move to the next round. Which also gives the ghosts a speed upgrade and makes your power pellets last shorter. So that might not be what you want either. This game is pretty fun, actually. Very enjoyable once you understand it. Let's get that up a bit more.
So you have different types of power-ups you can access on the left. And on the right is your attack strategy. You do want to start clearing out the train eventually. And empty corners are always good. Everything really starts to get in your way if you don't plan quick enough. There's a lot more strategy than I expected when you first go into this game. It's not just simple Pac-Man. I mean, it is in the idea where you keep moving or else you die, but... There's a lot of planning and different techniques you can use depending on which way you prefer to play. And that's really cool. So I, I'll do about one more round. Depends on how far I get. I didn't mean to collect that.
To survive the onslaught you encounter, you'll definitely want as many speed power-ups as possible. Which means clearing the boards as efficiently as you can. It's not as easy as it... Well, it doesn't look... It probably doesn't look easy either. So just like last time, I'm not going to show off a win because I'm not good enough to do that. I only have one out of 90 games, so... I've never been good at Pac-Man. But still, pretty fun game. I've definitely enjoyed the time I've had with it. And just like Tetris 99, there's a bunch of DLC you can use, or you can have, which gives you different game themes. Whatever you like. So anyway, I think that'll be it for now. Thank you guys for watching, and I will see you all in another castle.